So it seems like way too long since we just had some fun, light-hearted content where I can get rather stoned and dive into a big box of new smells and smell them. Since smelling things is basically my equivalent of a mukbang, I'm not so much for the eating on camera, but smelling things is fantastic. And today I have got my gigantic box of... Uh, Coco Pink <laughs> things. This is my yearly Coco Pink body butter order um, because I, I, I've talked about this before but finding really really nice interesting smelling body butter in the UK you basically can't like it, it doesn't exist but Coco Pink I love so much I am willing to buy boxes of this size from America, which as you can imagine, the shipping is not pretty. The shipping is obscene, which is why I only do it once a year. So I always go for their winter collection, which has like the Halloween spooky stuff and the Christmas kind of spicy smelling nice stuff. I do like their summer collection and I do miss it in summer when I don't have any. Like I do find myself thinking, oh my God, it's a nice day. It'd be really nice to have some like really zingy kind of like citrus stuff. But overall, I feel like going once a year for the Halloween stuff is good. So this box has finally arrived and I just, I just need to briefly have a freaking bitch about Parcel Force. I don't know whether Parcel Force exists in America, but they exist in the UK. And for some reason, whenever I buy like an expensive package that comes in one of these boxes, the, the kind of USPS tracked, all of that, the expensive shipping from America. It always seems to arrive this end with Parcel Force rather than Royal Mail. Royal Mail are the general mail company for the UK and they're pretty good. They don't lose shit. They're good. Parcel Force, however, who deal with all the expensive stuff, I swear to God, Parcel Force are running some kind of racket <laughs> in this country, in the local area. Like, I'm not much of a conspiracy theorist, but I am literally considering buying some kind of voice-activated spy device that will record audio and getting it sent from a friend in America to me because I want to hear what the fuck is going on in Parcel Force's warehouses, okay? This is a stoned, paranoid ramble here, but I swear to God, I have had four packages in about the last four or five months all of which have been over about 100, 150 pounds in value, so expensive packages, right? Every single one of these four packages, high value packages, has got lost by Parcel Force. Lost, lost. So you only know that it's lost because you're watching the tracking and either it just disappears off the tracking and it says, oh, it never even made it to England. But if you look on the USPS site, they say it got to Heathrow. It's at Heathrow it's just not coming to you, or you get a customs fee, you pay the customs fee, and then it doesn't come, and you look on the website and it says it's waiting for you to pay the customs fee, but if you go back and try to pay the customs fee, it says you can't, you've already paid it. Where is it then? Only when you complain to these motherfuckers does your parcel miraculously get shaken loose and it arrives at your door about two days later. I swear to God, high value packages and parcel force, if you are not on top of your tracking and you're not complaining, they will keep that shit and they want to sell it. This is my fucking theory because four times in five months, that's four parcels out of five of this value that I've had in parcel force, four out of five they have basically stolen until I've complained. That is some suspicious shit right there. And I have literally been looking up spy devices that I could maybe put in the post and try and record what the fuck is going on in their warehouses because I think it's interesting. And that is something that, you know, watch this space because my paranoid ass is probably going to do it. Although, as an aside, when I was looking up these spy devices, ooh, if you're a paranoid person, I don't recommend looking up spy devices because you can put this shit in anything these days. You can get like air fresheners that are listening to you. You can get um, extension plugs that are listening to you, pen tops, um, USB chargers, like fucking anything can have a spy device in it. 
And <laughs> about 15 years ago, when I did a lot of speed, I had this extreme conviction that my friends and my boyfriend were listening to me. I thought his house had a camera in the upper corner which was recording me, and I used to flip it off every now and then just to be like, I know you're watching me and I was convinced that my car was bugged for sound because my friends for some reason wanted to hear me talking to myself in the car like, how egotistical were my delusions but anyway if I had have seen this fucking spyware site and seen that literally anything can be a bug that would have freaked me out anyway enough enough with the paranoid rambling let us actually get to the sniffing things because I've already talked for like eight minutes and I haven't sniffed a thing yet so inside the box of lovely things ooh, ooh, this is this is actually not very spooky looking this year the colors we've got some black ones some black packages everything is like individually wrapped it's all cute as fuck but most things are kind of neutral colored this time whereas last time i seem to remember they were either like really orange and black and halloweeny or they were christmasy maybe it's because i've ordered after halloween and christmas so now we're into spring colors i don't know but uh oh oh so yes this order is about 98 percent body butter i think i got some linen sprays too they've given me some interesting samples of things oh oh i'm excited actually because the, their turnaround time is quite long it's about a month or so and then you've got the shipping on top of that to the uk so it's been about a month since i ordered this therefore i don't really remember what i ordered i certainly don't remember the listed notes for anything i ordered i'm not going to bother bringing them up because that will just make this video about even longer than it's gonna be and there's a lot in this box so it's gonna be long go and get some snacks if you haven't already <laughs> but um i do remember i last time i did this about a year ago they gave me a sample of a scent called wayward vampire which i thought was the coolest scent name ever and i was actually planning to spray paint wayward vampire on the back of my leather jacket and I, it's a year later and i haven't done it yet i must do that this year i think wayward vampire is a beautiful beautiful slogan to have on the back of a jacket but i actually i remembered to order a full body butter of wayward vampire so i really hope it smells as good as i remember it smelling but anyway okay let's dive in let's dive in let's dive in i don't know where i'm going to put all of this stuff but okay the first one oh the first one is sinister well i already oh look they've they've redone their packaging again Oh, that's beautiful. There's look at the little, the little kind of death's head moth guy over here, and a little, a little nevermore raven up here. And oh, oh, that's really pretty. I wonder if that's just for like the Halloween, and they're going to change it again for spring, or like I don't know. But anyway, this one is sinister, which I already know I love. Sinister. Hmm. It's interesting when I get because it's like the the winter collection obviously they only mix a batch i guess every year and some of them they come up smelling kind of different every year it's much like bee pals yearly ones if you buy like a yearly one like sowing it tends to be slightly different every year and it's like that with coco pink and i've had this box when did i get it was it today it was to ah oh, it was today so this box has only been sitting in my house for a few hours so it hasn't had much time to warm up and settle so some of the scents do develop and get a bit different and I, sometimes i find ones that i'm like oh my god i love this on the video and then it changes and i'm like mm, i'm not so keen but actually a lot of the times ones that i don't like when i first review them like a few weeks or months down the line i actually end up liking them so they, they do age and change a bit like bee pal but um sinister this year is not so strong as usual but sinister is their best in my opinion their best masculine smell it's kind of leathery and tobacco-y and peppery and i think there's some bergamot too but it's just a really nice kind of soft musky slightly sexy slightly bad boy male smell because that is my one criticism of coco pink is that they don't do many masculine smells actually last year i was quite impressed that they did do a fair amount more like i had about i think maybe four quite masculine smells last year so they are branching out <laughs> maybe my whinging about that has actually reached their ears i don't know i don't know 
I don't know. Like, I, I know I am probably the loudest reviewer <laughs> of kind of gothy, smelly things on YouTube, but I, I really have no idea whether any of these companies actually pay any attention to me in my overly long videos. I have no idea. So uh, I, I don't know whether, <laughs> whether what I say has any influence over anybody, but, um, mm, but yeah, Sinister, I'm, I'm just, I'm kind of baffled that I only bought a small tub because they do like these tubs and they do like a really big one. Why didn't I order a big one? Hi, this is your one boy smell and you've got this for the next year. Stupid, stupid, you should have bought a big one. But uh, but anyway, I do have a lot in here and I do find actually that my yearly buying, it does last me most of a year um, because I, I like to dip into all the different smells. And it's weird because with Bee Pal perfumes, I'm such a hoarder. Like I can't run out of anything. Like I, I just hoard and my collection gets bigger and bigger. But Coco Pink, because like you're gonna run out of that, like you run out of that pretty quickly. Um, I'm not such a hoarder. I just like to sample all the things and I don't mind if I don't have all my favorites so long as I have new things to try. That's, that's what I like. So anyway, Sinister smells a little bit less strong than usual but hopefully that's just because it's a bit cold and it needs to warm up so okay onwards oh my god I'm gonna end up with like Everest Ooh, ooh! this one's called sensory deprivation tank and I can't remember what the fuck the notes for that were I've never tried this one before oh that's very weird in a good way kind of sort of green maybe some lime but something a bit spicy there's something slightly kind of medicinal sort of herbal medicinal it's quite light but quite of kind of spiced as well I think I'm gonna have to try some of these on I think like this room is actually freezing cold at the moment I had the window open for a while and it's freezing cold and nothing is really like evaporating into my face so Ooh. I actually think this is gonna be nice for summer it is really light and kind of almost a little bit aquatic but in a nice way like I really hate aquatics generally but that is just peaceful and fresh it's lightly spiced lightly musky it's green it smells green oh that's really nice actually that is like I I am <laughs> I can't really stick my finger on a single note but Sensory deprivation tank. Overall impression, very peaceful. Fresh but peaceful, which I guess makes sense for a sensory deprivation tank. That's a, that's a weird idea for a for a scent. Sensory deprivation tank. I like I like some of their, their weird inspos. They do have a lot of really weird inspiration. Um oh, ginger dead house. This is one I got last year. And I'm pretty sure when I reviewed it, I said I didn't particularly like it because it has a lemon drop note in it. It's mostly like gingerbread, but it has like a lemon drop note in. And initially I really hated that. It really bothered me. But actually, um, like pretty much a year later, around about Christmas, I found last year's one in the bottom of my box and I rediscovered it and I absolutely fell in love with it. And I burned through it in about three weeks and yeah it's weird like when it's fresh the lemon drop note is quite pronounced but underneath that it's really like you know like moist sticky thick gingerbread with icing on oh i so badly just want to stick my tongue in that but i know it would be a regrettable decision <laughs> oh my god yeah ginger dead house is beautiful and again, I'm thinking, why didn't you buy a big fucking tub? Like, I know Christmas is over and smelling like gingerbread is a little bit weird in, like, nearly spring, but I love gingerbread. Gingerbread is one of my favourite. It's not really a scent note, I guess, but gingerbread, it's, it's a lovely smell. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, okay, so I'm most excited about that so far. That one is smelling good and loud, even though it's cold in here. So this is, oh, this is a big tub. Oh, <gasps> wait, wait, wait. Oh, 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 can you see? It's not going to focus, is it? There we go. Wayward Vampire. 
don't you think that's a that would be a cool band name i know i said this last year but that would be a cool fucking band name wayward vampire oh maybe i, I like i could even make my manuscript my book that i'm rewriting for like what the fourth fifth i don't even know time but uh the wayward vampire that could almost be the title it does already have a title but the wayward vampire would also fit it so anyway Oh fuck, that does smell like a wayward vampire. It smells every bit as good as I remembered, oh my god. Okay, grave soil, big time grave soil. Like really fresh, like damp, moist, overturned earth, kind of night air. I think leather, ooh, let's try this on. I've deliberately worn no perfume today, which feels super weird. It feels super weird sitting down to make a video with no perfume on, but like bare arms, bare arms, ready to test myself all over. Oh, that is nice. Okay, the grave soil kind of warms up on skin. You get this musky, this musky thing mingling with, I think, the leather. It's slightly cologne-y. This one I think would be really gorgeous on guy skin. Like guy skin tends to lend, I think, I think just like boy chemistry tends to lend things more of a kind of musky note. The fact that boys generally just smell more than girls, <laughs> like not necessarily in a bad way, but boy skin has more musk in it, I think, than girl skin. So you get like even even if a scent is a bit gender neutral if you put it on a boy it tends to smell more masculine anyway just because there's more musk going on i think but this would be good on a boy or a girl hang on let me clear my news <laughs> yeah nice and musky and earthy the leather, if if there even is leather, where well, maybe I'm just imagining leather because of the name. There's like an impression of leather, but it's quite light. I would say it is black leather if it has a colour. But it's mostly just a sort of earth. Earth and musk. Like I I feel like this one. I feel like it's a really nice base. It feels like the beginning of a scent. Like you've got the grave soil and the night air and a bit of leather and a bit of musk, but there's there's something a bit empty about it. I feel like it needs something like tobacco, something like some really spicy tobacco in that, just to make it a bit. It, it feels it feels like half a scent. Like I like it, but it's it needs something to round it out. It needs something warmer and spicier. I think to. To round it out so maybe i'll have to layer it with sinister because sinister let's in fact let's try that right now <laughs> let's start experimenting right now okay dip into sinister a bit because that does have some spice and some tobacco and some bergamot and i think that's gonna be oh now you've got a fucking thing yes oh yes oh my god yes okay because i love sinister anyway but this Oh, this is exciting. Throwing some grave soil. Oh, now that, that is how it should smell. That is how it should smell. We have got a sinister wayward vampire now, which is an even better name. Yes, it's spicy. It's dark. But it's got the grave soil and it's got the cold night air. And it's got warm and cold mingling together with the spices and the tobacco, but the grave soil and the... Oh yes, that, that's how I'm going to be wearing it as a combination, definitely. Okay, so Wayward Vampire is going to work. And also, yeah, if I end up with anything else in this package that's kind of spicy and warm, I can mingle it. <gasps> I have talked for an obscene amount of time. We need to rush. We need to rush through these things. Oh, Padre. Padre is another one I got last year and I loved it. It smells... Ooh, oof, Padre has been smoking the pipes this year. This is even more pipe smoke heavy than before. Padre basically smells like a like an old man who 
you kind of want to hug but you also kind of want to fuck. You know if you've ever watched Lonesome Dove, the character Gus, if you haven't seen it you really must go and watch Lonesome Dove, it's very good. The character Gus smells like Padre. He's kind of this old man who you know will always look after you and he's lovely but he's also kind of badass and hot and that is how Padre smells. There's like pipe smoke. It's basically just pipe smoke. Pipe smoke and, and some kind of cologne, some sort of spicy cologne. Padre is a really, really nice, interesting masculine smell. Like the, I've never smelled anything like this one, like Bee Pow even. I have not smelled anything like Padre. Um, it's just, it's got such character, like you can picture the guy. Like I say, like Gus from Lonesome Dove, I literally, this is how he would smell. Like he smells quite clean, there's like something clean about him, something clean and safe and respectable and kind of lovely about him. But he's got the cologne, he smells, he smells like a kind of dapper gentleman, slightly mature gentleman with his pipe smoke and it, it's a weird combination of like paternal and sexy so <laughs> padre padre is like the smell of daddy issues i don't know mm, yes i love that one i'm so glad i got more of that one again though why didn't you buy the big box you were already paying out the fucking wazoo for the shipping you may as well have got a, a big tub Ooh. Ooh, Stanley Hotel. I haven't tried this one before and I can't remember what the hell the notes were. Ooh, that's interesting. I get booze, a lot of booze. Cherry brandy, maybe some cognac, maybe some white rum, but I feel like there's also roses, maybe. Oh, that is the most alcoholic thing I've ever smelled. I feel like I should be getting drunk just smelling it. Um, what does this smell like? Hmm. Actually, when you put it on, the booze recedes and you get a lot of roses. It's like, yeah. It's like walking into a hotel room where they've sprinkled rose petals all over everything, which is not something I have ever done in my life. I've only seen it on TV, but it looks really cool and exciting. And that's what this smells like. A room full of roses and there's kind of the ghosts of parties and old things going on in the walls. There's just the ghosts of booze and pipe smoke in the background. Maybe some mahogany too, because it, it smells like a hotel. It does, it smells, it literally smells like an old, slightly haunted hotel. There's, yeah, there's like the mahogany, the old mahogany soaked with, with like booze vapours and pipe smoke and you can almost hear like the ghosts of all the kind of 1920s parties that have happened there and yet there's kind of roses sprinkled on the floor as you're walking in. That is atmospheric as fuck. I don't know if I'm like on the money at all with any of those notes but that's what, that's what I get. It's really weird actually doing this with no notes. When I do BPAL usually I get the notes up and then I know that I'm not just pulling things out of my ass, whereas this time I could be pulling everything out of my ass, but I don't know. That one seems very atmospheric. Ooh, okay, this one is called The Wild Hunt. I have also not tried this at all. Oh, fuck me. Oh my god. This smells... Jesus. This, this, this is a... 90s goth club in a tub. I think... I think the smell is, is meant to be like fog, maybe? But it smells like a fog machine. 
and goth clubs don't seem to go so crazy with fog machines anymore but back in the day like fog machines you couldn't see across the room right the fog machine would be blinding you would walk up the stairs and the fog would just be rolling down the stairs as you went up and you would walk into this smell like this just this this like dusty oxygen this cold foggy smell and that's what i get here and there's there's something spicy that almost smells kind of like like the lingering bits of clove cigarettes it oh it's literally almost giving me goosebumps this because it, it just it smells like memories it's oh wow that is weird and amazing oh my god i know it's supposed to smell like a wild hunt but it smells like a goth club ooh ooh on skin it warms up and you get i think it's it's probably grave soil but it smells kind of like tobacco and there's something spicy so again you've got that clo clove cigarette thing going on but the the fog machine smell you still get that but it's getting quite kind of musky quite kind of dark and musky now oh that is wonderfully spooky that is wonderfully spooky and the spicy kind of like tobacco thing but it's still it's still it still smells like a goth club <laughs> i'm just seeing things right now i'm just, i'm just seeing the top hallway of the original goth club venue the one that burned down on the 11th of the 11th 2006 and i was there um but the old venue you'd be walking up these big black stairs and there'd be this kind of this hallway at the top that you would sit and chat and i remember I, 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 like, I can literally see us. I can see us sitting there on the side of the thing with my huge boots on, sitting with my best friend on the night that we did a lot of pills and we we talked for ages out there on that hallway about so much stuff that, you, you know, when you're sober, even when you're best friends, you you can't talk that openly. And we did and we were both just like munching away at gum and, uh, and just talking and talking and i had my shiny huge boots on and i just i see us sitting there both of us like little little baby bat us rolling balls at the goth club that would burn down years later and it was it was a haunted venue actually it was built on the site of an old burns hospital which even had its own morgue um and lots of people saw ghosts there and things and i smell this and i'm fucking right back there the, dude this i am gonna have my nose in this for a very long time i i'm probably gonna end up writing stories actually just purely based off of the memories that that I see in my fucking head when I smell this like literally I can see the bottles of rock gut red wine in you know the wisps of cigarette smoke that would be billowing all over the place because there was no smoking ban and the the paisley carpet and the black walls which were painted with pictures of Bella Lugosi and Frankenstein's monster and there were quotes in kind of italic fonts saying the children of the night what sweet music they make written all around the booths and and I can see the boy that I had a huge crush on and I never got to shag in his beautiful fishnet and the way we always used to dance together to do hast and uh <laughs> dude seriously oh i've got to put this down because i'm I'm gonna be on at this all night but this this is a memory in a tub yeah the one called wild hunt that is my favorite so far oh my god yes i'm gonna be this is so inspiring i haven't written a short story in a very long time well i haven't finished one i've started a lot i haven't finished one but this this is memories in a tub this is inspiration in a tub and if you went to goth clubs when they used to be full of fog smoke and clove cigarettes and memories oh wild hunt you need it and why did i only buy a little tub i mean i know i hadn't tried it but come on instincts instincts be better next time should have bought a big tub oh i wonder actually i wonder what the shipping would be would the shipping be reasonable if i only bought like 
two or three tubs of something. If I just topped up on the things I love, would the shipping be crazy? It would probably still be about $30, because that's about the minimum for like one of these boxes. It's always at least $30, which, <sighs> like seriously, when I see American people complaining about paying like seven or eight dollars for, for shipping on something, I'm like, <sighs> you don't know you're born, do you? Or they complain because something hasn't reached them three days after they bought it. It's like, oh dear God. I mean, living here, you really learn patience with buying things. Like you buy things, you might not see it for a month. Um, <laughs> oh, this is God Loves Jazz, which I got last year. I couldn't resist the name, obviously. Um, and once again, this, this smells just like it did last year, which is basically a bucket full of booze. Um, you've got rum, you've got scotch whiskey, cognac, Guinness, cherry brandy. It's just a fuckload of booze and I think some pipe smoke too. It just, it smells like the most drunken, happy, good time. It sm I've never been to an Irish pub but I imagine an Irish pub, quite an old-fashioned one with kind of mahogany walls, but a lot of booze going on. That's, that's I, I imagine an Irish pub on New Year's Eve probably smells exactly like this. Mm, yes, and I think my friend Jazz would approve, Anna, and I like the fact that God loves him. If it's going to focus, you're going to focus. God loves jazz. There we go. So I, I had to get more of that one. It's fun. It's fun and it's boozy. Right. Onwards, onwards, onwards. I need to hurry because this is, this is forever long already. I told you this was basically going to be like a smell McBung. Okay. Ooh, this one. <laughs> this one is called Homicidal Girlfriend. I can't remember what she smells like, but I've never tried this before and I gambled on a huge tub, so presumably it sounds amazing. Oh, I'm scared to try it now. I've, I've gambled on such a big tub. Is it going to be awful? I don't know. Okay. I think I made a good gamble. Oh, that is sexy. I know it says homicidal girlfriend, but actually... I guess it's slightly feminine, but it's it's badass feminine. There's a big fat black leather note in that. Big fat black leather. Yeah, like really, really badass. Gorgeous black leather. A hint of perfume, but it's quite a kind of sexy dark perfume, and it's it's not overpowering. You can smell cherries actually. There's 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 something it's yeah it smells like a homicidal girlfriend. There's kind of like the sweet part. There's the sweet kind of cherries part. Almost like maraschino cherries or like cherry ice cream or something. But then there's like black leather and there might even be something like gunpowder in this too. It's like a hint of a hint. I, I think there is. I think there's gunpowder or something in here too. It's a very strange combination, but I like it very much. It seems to be fading like completely on me. Oh no, not completely. No, my skin is unfortunately mostly giving me cherries and not much else, um, but in the tub, the black leather, yeah, black leather, cherries, and I think gunpowder. That is a very interesting combination, and actually, although I think it's probably a Halloween one, I think this is going to be lovely for summer, like that, that kind of cherry ice cream note. I also want to lick this one. <laughs> that is cool. Like, yeah, she smells, she smells like a real free spirit who is very sexy, um, will draw you in with, with a cherry, cherry ice cream on her tits <laughs> and then she will saunter out of there wearing nothing but a pair of fishnet tights and a black leather jacket and she will blow you up 
as she leaps into her Mustang and roars off down the highway. She's a cool chick. Yeah, I like her. I can see, I can see the bitch and she's cool. Yeah, I, <laughs> I like that one. Homicidal Girlfriend gets the thumbs up from me. Right, moving on. This one is another big tub and it is... Ooh. Black Prince. God, this is another one. This is another big tub gamble that I have never smelled. So clearly I thought Black Prince was going to be amazing. Please, please, please be amazing. Okay, that's really weird. I don't know what I think of that. That is, um... Tangly. It smells like tangly weeds. It's very very green you know you know if you if you get like a dandelion and you snap it in half and that that bitter sap smell it's kind of like that or like if you yeah if you, it's like dandelions it smells like when you break a dandelion and there's all that green bitter sap <laughs> i need a clean space okay that's a clean space Please be better on, please be better on, because I really don't like you. Ooh, um, what is that? Ooh, 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 it smells like parsley. Ooh, ooh, I really hate parsley. No, it's worse, it's coriander. You know, fresh coriander leaves, Ugh, can't stand them. Ooh, that is, um... Well, it's, mm, I guess maybe it'll get worn in summer. No, you know what? I don't, I don't think there is any part of me that wants to smell like a fucking coriander salad. No, 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 no. Black print is a hell no from me. And unfortunately, I have a huge tub of it. But as I said, things do change and age differently. <laughs> so when I don't like things, they just get thrown in the bottom of the box. And I find them like about eight months later. And sometimes they've changed into something I can tolerate. Actually, sometimes things that I've left for like eight months and forgotten about end up becoming my favourites. Like Ginger Dead House and also Stingy Jack was another one. So maybe I'll end up liking that, but I really don't think so. I really don't like like green sappy things. You know, whenever people describe bee pal things as as like very green or grassy, like I'm I'm straight out of there. Um, <laughs> I don't I don't like bitter green stuff. This I think is oh this is the last body butter and oh oh the summoning of elves i'm an elf today <laughs> summoning of elves i have never tried this either Ooh, ooh, fuck i like this minty minty and foresty and i don't know where the hell i'm gonna try this because i've got no skin left i've got no skin left i've run out of skin i've been peeled Oh, that's lovely. Oh, that's fucking lovely. That is like a magical, misty forest at dawn. You can smell like the earth. It's it's yeah. It's like you you know you know you know <laughs> when there's a forest and there's been there's been dew and the earth is still damp and you can smell the kind of the damp earth but it's it's not like a depressing rainy smell it's like a beautiful sunlit forest but you can sm still smell the damp earth oh that is magical as fuck summoning of elves love the fuck out of that that is gonna be a beautiful summer adventuring smell yes yes oh my god and it's it's so real Ah, oh, that's how I want forests to be at the moment. Whereas like forests at the moment are actually just squelchy and damp and grey and windy and depressing and rainy. Whereas this smells like a lovely, pretty summertime magical, magical forest, you know, with the with the sunlight slanting down through the trees and the, the little bits of that floating magical white stuff that you see at dawn in summer in a forest. And I have no idea what the fuck it is, but it's magical. Mm, oh my god, Coco Pink do make 
the most amazing like memory pictures like just the same as Beepa this, this is the thing <laughs> I am a complete sense snob if I think places do sense that are just too simplistic I, I I can't be doing with them at all but when places do sense that literally just like summon up a fucking picture or a scene or a memory in your mind like they become so special to me and I love them and Coco Pink have that talent and I adore it. So anyway we are now on to the linen sprays and also the samples. So I have a linen spray of Wayward Vampire and I think that's going to be a winner. Come on be a winner please be a winner. Oh that's a good spray too that's not a not a dollopy spray. Oh that's very different though. Smells like cherries. Did I get cherries? I don't remember it having cherries. That smells very chemical, actually. <laughs> I don't know what that smells like. Oh, it's starting to go a bit musky and leathery. Okay, okay. The linen sprays I find do take some settling, actually. The linen sprays are almost never good <laughs> when you first get them, but when they've settled, they're better. Okay, so the linen spray of Wayward Vampire it smells kind of boozy, black leathery, absinthe? I didn't get absinthe out of the body butter, but really it smells like absinthe and black leather. I don't get grave soil. I think I got grave soil out of the... I've smelled so many things I don't remember, but... The, yeah, linen spray, basically just absinthe and a bit of black leather. Okay, not a huge fan of absinthe, so that's weird. The linen sprays, you know what, I may not even bother sniffing the rest of the linen sprays because I, I think they just need to settle. So, oh, oh, but I do also have fresh strawberry as a linen spray because I did want to get something kind of summery, so I'm going to give that a quick spray just to see what does fresh strawberry smell like I mean it smells like strawberries yay okay well that one's reliable that one smells like what it should do that's lovely actually I fucking love strawberry and that is oh my god that is balanced perfectly between like the ripest fresh strawberry and like strawberry syrup. Oh, that is addictive. Oh my God, it is. It's, it's like, it's like fresh strawberries with strawberry syrup on top. It's like all the strawberry bitch. Oh my God. Oh, I'm glad. I'm very glad I got that. I'm very glad I got one summery thing. And like linen sprays, it has become my pet peeve with Bee Pal that they do so many hair glosses. Whenever they do like the things that are not perfume oils, like the other things, the hair glosses, the linen sprays, the bath oil, it's all about the hair gloss. And it's like, okay, if you've got long hair, the hair gloss is great. But if you have short hair, you can't really use it. Whereas the linen sprays, you can spray them in your hair no matter what length your hair is. And the linen sprays, you can use them on your clothes, you can use them as a room spray. They're so versatile. Why do Beep I'll never seem to do any linen sprays? Because, you know, perfume can fade on your skin really quite quickly, but linen sprays on your clothes, it stays forever. You can, like, scent your bed with it, you can scent your hair with it. If you've got a t-shirt that's a little bit smelly and you still want to wear it and you don't want to put it in the wash, you can use a linen spray. <laughs> <laughs> so linen sprays I love them and Bee Pal don't do them often enough um so this one and the, the fact that uh Coco Pink like all of their scent range you can get all of it in a linen spray that is fucking genius and I would really like to expand my collection of linen sprays but I seem to have very bad luck with the ones I choose um but this fresh strawberry one is going to be lovely in summer that is going to get a lot of use um so I think Okay, what I have here, I have the sugar scrub sample of Castle Underground. Oh, this is probably going to be all stony and cold and I'm not going to like it. Hmm. It is stony and cold, but 
it's also spicy and smoky and evil. Oh, I really like that, actually. That really reminds me of the scene in... My nose is running. Um, <laughs> the scene in one of the... You know the, the Lord of the Rings scene when Aragorn goes into the the cave to like bring back the uh, the armies of the dead to fight for him and um this castle underground that's what it smells like it smells like the armies of the dead in a in an underground castle that has been open for years it's all spicy and like cobwebby and dusty and there's like old old earth and old bones and Oh my god, that's gorgeous. Fuck. I think I think I'm going to have to end up doing a small add-on order <laughs> for some of the ones I love. So that is everything in my package. Padre, oh, Padre, you want to hug him and fuck him all at once. Um <laughs> Oh, this is a this is a good thing. This is a good package of things. This was worth fighting multiple battles with Parcel Force to get them to sort their shit out and release my package instead of stealing it and selling it on the black market, which I am pretty damn sure is what Parcel Force do with expensive packages um, in my area. I am pretty damn sure there's a conspiracy going on, but uh, anyway, this has been a lovely thing. And this video is a freaking hour long. Now, why is it that my videos suddenly seem to have become like double the length they used to be and they were already too long in the first place? I don't know, I don't know, but they're getting quite waffly. But anyway, yes, Coco Pink, I love them. I love them. Usually I just do one big order like this a year, but this time, Wild Hunt. I love that shit so much. And only having a tub this size, I, I, I mean, this, this is not just a smell. This is inspiration fuel. This is, this is... This is like, I mean, this is literally like Altered Carbon, the new series, no spoilers, but they they take memories and they turn them into drugs. Hello, I put that in a fucking story first, actually. But um <laughs> they take memories, they turn them into drugs, and you can you can have other people's memories and you can you can like re-experience them again. And that's basically what this is. Like this is is just a pot full of memories that I want to go back into and write stories about and so I think I need more than this tub so I think I might have to make another order in the near future because ah oh, I mean Wild Hunt is almost definitely a Halloween winter scent which means it's going to disappear whenever the summer scents come along which has got to be soon now that we're like halfway through March so I think I'm going to have to make another little order and Stanley Hotel very much intrigues me too. It's very, very kind of elegant, old-fashioned rose and mahogany. It's it's a moment, it's a scene. Like, Stanley Hotel has got fucking atmosphere and I like that and I only have a little tub of that too. And the summoning of elves is just such a magical summer forest smell. I feel I may need some of that some more of that too and ooh, ooh. <laughs> god you know you know you are a compulsive shopper when you you have like like you're sitting behind a, a gigantic fortress of shit you've just bought and you're already thinking i think i need to buy more things but uh, also this lovely thing this lovely thing i was going to wear this this was going to be my swimming cover-up uh for when i went to the uh Edwardian swimming baths for the goth night by candlelight which uh, I did not get to after spending ludicrous amounts of money on my swimming costume and on this cover-up uh, which didn't get here in time anyway but um after spending all that money I didn't get there because I was ill so uh, uh so uh, now I I'm just wearing it but it's a very nice thing I got it from Dolls Kill it's a uh, House of Widow thing. I think it might be the first House of Widow thing I actually owned, but uh, I like it very much. Killstar do something similar, but really shitty looking, <laughs> if we're being honest. Um, this one is much nicer. I like it very much. One day I would like to learn to crotch it, to crochet um, something similar. I feel like it's it's got to be pretty easy. 
Um, it's got to be pretty easy to crochet something like this, so uh, one day I will try and teach myself, but for now I have this lovely thing and it's beautiful and I like it very much and it's good, good for doing smell tests in because you have whole arms to smell test things on. And anyway, this is, this is forever long so I should stop waffling, but um, <laughs> I hope, I hope you enjoyed your snacks and uh, maybe you're asleep by now because this is a rather long video of me just smelling things but I have a lot of lovely smells and I cannot wait to dunk my nose into Wild Hunt and just, just pour out a load of memories into the computer and see if I end up writing a story or some poems or something because seriously that is memories in a pot, oh my god, Anna. Oh, so Coco Pink, if you ever, if you ever watch my videos and tolerate me waffling on and on and on, I think you're fucking wonderful. I love the fact you've expanded the masculine stuff that you do. There is more masculine stuff being done. That's really cool. I love your freaking names like Homicidal Girlfriend and Wayward Vampire are some genius names and Wild Hunt too and the Summoning of Elves. You have some magical names. And you make you make memories in pots like they're so evocative it's fucking genius i do wish the shipping wasn't so extortionate but i get it this was a big box of stuff um and uh i just i just wish there was some way for americans to send things from usps and them to come through royal mail not parcel force because i am so getting really pissed off with having to stalk my tracking all the time and then having to complain at them every fucking time and get really freaked out thinking like I have a package that's worth about £200, Parcel Force are trying to steal it, they're incompetent as fuck and oh I mean th this is like body butter so this, this was like an expensive package but like it's body butter if I lose it I'm not gonna like flip shit but I recently had a package that had some like personalized custom things that were really 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 special to me and I really thought Parcel Force had fucking lost them and I, I was so stressed about that I was like this is a one-off this is like a custom item like there's there's no no replacing this and you're fucking losing it there is something going on with Parcel Force they keep stealing my shit and so uh, <laughs> so yeah if I end up sending a, uh, a spy cam thing to myself to listen to what there is going on in their warehouses uh, <laughs> I'll let you know what I find out otherwise I, uh, I might just take my most recent complaint further and say look here is a compilation of all the complaints I've had to make over the last little while and um, things are getting a little bit fishy Mm, can I speak to someone about this, please? And uh, we'll see if I if I end up getting shot because I have seen I've seen through the uh, the respectable business front of Parcel Force into the fact that uh, actually they're they're run by male stealing gangsters or something. Maybe I've just been watching too much Peaky Blinders. I don't know. But uh, now I'm seeing evil and corruption everywhere I look. But uh, anyway, this is very very long. I'm going to stop waffling now and fuck off. But uh, I'm feeling quite pretty tonight. Feeling quite pretty. My hair is like so faded and rooty right now that tying it back is the only thing that works. But actually tying it back, it's gone quite quite mermaidy and cool looking. I'm quite liking it. So uh, maybe there is something I can still do with my hair to not look completely shit. But do you see how big my roots are? It's literally been three months since I got my roots bleached. And uh, ooh, 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 but feeling quite cute tonight anyway. And I have lots of smells and oh, I can't get over Wild Hunt and how many memories are in that pot, like literally. 90s goth club in a pot wild hunt beautiful go to end on that note and shut up for real now so yeah hope you're having a nice day and all of that bye bye <laughs>